from Aurora. Today I'm going to show you our design feature called Fill Zone. Fill Zone is a powerful and flexible tool used to create small and large sized solar systems. While most useful for large commercial sites, it can also be used for small residential homes. To access Fill Zone, go to the System Design page of a design. Click on Solar Panels, then Fill Zone. You now need to define the area to fill. There are two options to do this. One, double left click a roof section. This will automatically select the entire roof section and bring up the fill zone modal. Two, left click to create a polygon shape. Once you have the desired shape, right click to bring up the fill zone modal. Please note that you do not need to avoid obstructions when creating your polygon Aurora will automatically avoid those obstructions when generating a system. Each zone that is created will be designated a letter, starting with the letter A, which you can find at the top of the modal. There is a preset drop-down menu currently for helix mounting systems. You will need to use certain sun power panels when selecting these options. The presets contain the tilt, row, and module spacing information. You can input those values manually by leaving the preset to none selected. Now select the panel in the next drop-down menu. Select the orientation of those panels. Select the fill mode. Then input the tilt, row spacing, and module spacing values. The dual tilt option will include a Y module spacing for the peaks of the rows. Relative rotation will allow you to change the orientation of the panels relative to the roof azimuth. You can tell Aurora to avoid shaded areas by inputting a value in the minimum solar access box. Please note that you must first run the irradiance map to use this feature. At the bottom, select your microinverters, optimizers, and or string inverters. Click on OK to generate the system. You will notice that the Fill Zone tool will auto-string the panels and connect those panels to an inverter for you. All roof obstructions are avoided. You can move the zone by left-clicking and dragging. Once moved, a Refresh button will show up. Click on it so Aurora can recreate the system in the new location. You can modify the shape of the zone by left-clicking and dragging the nodes. You can also Add nodes within a line by double left clicking that line. You can delete and recreate panels within a zone by left clicking the panel. Please note that due to stringing constraints, Aurora may remove additional panels when you hit the refresh button. To change the characteristics of the zone, right click the zone to bring up the modal. You can change any values then click OK. Aurora will recreate the zone with the new inputs. In the advanced options, checking manual position will give you control arrows which allow you to shift the panels within a zone. You also have the option to include combiner boxes, load centers, and set the DCAC ratio and overcurrent ratio. Let me explain the list of icons on the bottom row of the fill zone modal. First, let's create a few fill zones using the fill zone icon. Notice that each zone has a unique letter in the modal. Explode 
will remove the zone from the layout while leaving the panels. The removal of the zone will allow you to select panels individually and modify them independent of the zone. Delete will remove the zone along with the panels. Add sub area will allow you to create another fill zone that will share the same characteristics as the current zone. For example, if we add a couple of sub area on this fill zone A, additional zones labeled A will be generated. Changing any values in one zone A will automatically change all other zone A's.